So in this video we want to talk about Newton's method. And what that is, it's Newton's method is a way that we can solve for complicated x uh, intercepts basically. So we want to solve here for some function where f of x is equal to zero, where it's not readily, you know, uh, it's not easily solved by just doing simple algebra. So say we have a curve uh, that looks like, let's say, like this or something, doesn't matter, it can be any curve that has some x-intercept. So what we want to do is we want to find this point here, this, this x-intercept. So we're going to pick some point that's close. Um, let's say we'll pick some point that's close and we'll call that x naught. Now we're going to, we want to find the tangent line at x naught. So we'll just draw a dotted line up here and then we'll find this tangent line. So it'll look something like that. All right, so now what we can say is, if we call this x-intercept here, um, we'll call this x1. And then we're gonna repeat the process. We wanna find the tangent line at x1. So we'll go up here, and then we'll find the tangent line at x1. And you'll see what's happening in one second. Something like that. Now, if we call the x-intercept of x1, or sorry, the, the tangent line at x1, if we call that one's x-intercept uh, x2, right, we'll just keep going up in x value, x2, and then we repeat this process, right? We're gonna take the tangent line at x2, do something like this. What you're seeing here is the x-intercept of these lines, starting with someone that we guessed, um, it just keeps getting closer and closer to the x-intercept of the actual function. So we'll call this one, um, we'll stop here because you won't be able to see it anymore, it's too close. I will call this x3. And we can just keep going closer and closer and we can solve the x-intercept of the blue function, uh, whatever this was, f of x, uh, to any number of decimal points that we want. Say if we want three decimal points or five or 10 really, you can just keep getting closer and closer and we'll narrow down this gap uh, just as close as you want basically. So let's, uh, this is just the visual version, but how do we actually get these numbers? So let's start with uh, x naught and x1. So we know that this distance here uh, between x1 and x naught uh, is going to be say, just x naught minus x1 minus x1, right? From this distance to there. And with that, we can find the slope of this purple tangent line, the slope of the tangent line at x0 um, using rise over run. So we would say that we want the slope there, so we'd say f prime at x0 is equal to rise over run. So the rise is f at x0, right? That's just the y value f at oops, x naught and this is going to be divided by the run which is x naught minus x1 so x naught minus x1 we'll make sure that's all in brackets so if we rearrange actually just for x1 then we will get you know write it in red because that's the one we're looking for now um, x1 is going to be equal to x naught um, minus f at x naught f at x naught over f prime at x naught or x f prime at x naught. Now this isn't using it like uh, this is just using general numbers. So if we wanted to repeat the same for this part over here to find x two, we do exactly the same thing. We would just switch the numbers. So to find for x2, it'd be exactly the same, it'd be rise over run, but now we would have x1 minus x2, and we, if we rearrange it the same way, we would find that x2 is equal to x1 minus f at x1 over f prime at x1. And same thing, if we wanted to find x3, well, we do exactly the same thing, but now x3, x3, there we go, 
is this going to be equal to x2 minus f at x2 f at x2 divided by f prime at x2 and we can go up to f at xn right it doesn't matter we can like go as close as we possibly want uh, or as far as we want basically until we find how many decimal points we're solving for so anyways that's how Newton's method works um, and I'll show you here if you click here make another box click here uh, if you click on this box here I will take you to the next video and we'll do an actual example with real numbers um, and we'll find a complicated x-intercept so I'll see you there